they humiliated her because she had been adopted. But when her parents' will was revealed, they were all speechless. Maria Luisa suffered all kinds of humiliations inflicted by the sons of the millionaire couple that had taken her in when she was left alone in the world. She never imagined that her life would end up in such martyrdom, but she never lost faith that one day fate would smile back at her. The girl became an orphan at age 11, and the Ruiz family, who were in the same parish as her deceased parents, decided to adopt the girl from a humble background. The wealthy couple was kind-hearted and wanted to give the poor child a new home. Their biological children, on the other hand, were haughty and vicious. They were twins named Alexei and Roman, and it was very difficult to keep them apart. The parents treated her very well, but the twins were extremely jealous of their new stepsister, and whenever the parents were not looking, they would maltreat her. She was not allowed to play with their toys. The twins beat her and called her a bastard. They snatched her food and ate it whenever their parents were not around. They told her that her place was on the street and that she had no business being there. Unfortunately, the girl was the same age as the twins, so they had to go to the same class. Alexei told their classmates that he and his brother were wealthy and had a high social status. But the poor girl was not part of their family. They even went as far as conspiring with some of the classmates to make a diabolical plan against Maria Luisa. The next morning, when they were already in the car on the way to school, Roman spilled orange juice on Maria Luisa's white blouse. She did not want to go to school like that, but it was already too late for them to turn around and change clothes. So Maria Luisa tried to hide the stain with her notebook, but it was hard to cover. She did not expect what was waiting for her when she entered the classroom, however. Alexei and his friends had put up posters with Maria Luisa out written on them, and as if that were not enough, the girl had talcum powder, eggs, and water thrown at her. Maria Luisa ran out, stumbled because her eyes were covered with talcum powder, and fell. Loud laughter could be heard everywhere. Eventually, the noise was heard even in the principal's office, who went to investigate and entered the classroom. When she saw the posters, she was deeply shocked. The principal asked who was responsible for this disgusting graffiti. Silence. So, she decided to punish the entire class equally. From that moment on, the main break was canceled and everyone had to stay inside the classroom. Maria Luisa, on the other hand, was allowed to go home. When the twins came home after school, the first thing they did was frantically search for the orphan girl, and when they found her, they threatened to beat her up if she didn't do exactly what they told her to do. They forced her to eat from the trash can, and she had to scrub the toilets with her bare hands until they were sore. The next day at school, she was not even able to take notes because her hands were so sore. The girl remained silent when the teacher asked her what had happened. The teacher was very concerned, but she could not help the girl because she didn't say anything. The Ruiz couple had a lot of professional business in other countries. Therefore, they hired an excellent nanny for their children, but unfortunately, she was far too gullible. The twins tricked her, pretending that they were treating the adopted girl well and that everything was fine. Time passed, and the two boys secretly continued to torture the girl. However, she did not give up and told herself that she just had to persevere. She devoted herself to learning, and since she also had to do the twins' homework, she did very well in school. She was determined to study medicine when she grew up, to help women and poor people who often could not afford a doctor due to insufficient funds. In fact, this is exactly what had happened to her parents. 
they preferred to buy food for the family rather than go to the doctor and consequently suffered the cost of their own lives. Within a very short time, both died of cancer. So, time passed and Maria Luisa grew older and prettier. At her school, there was a boy, Anselmo, with whom all the girls were in love. But he was interested in Maria Luisa. Here, too, the twins did a great job. They accused Maria Luisa of stealing from Anselmo. Unfortunately, the latter distanced himself from her. Their first love was intense, but also short. Maria Luisa then focused even more on her education and had an excellent degree, which equally helped her pass the entrance exam to an elite university. The twins, though, always leaving Maria Luisa to do their homework, remained stupid and, much to the disappointment of their parents, did not pass the entrance exam. All three did not know what tragedy had in store for them. Just a few days later, the Ruiz couple once again had business abroad, however their plane never landed. It crashed over the sea and there were no survivors. Their bodies were never found. Strangely, the twins did not even seem sad about it. They seemed happy to finally inherit their parents' fortune, while Maria Luisa was devastated and mourned greatly for her adoptive parents. She eventually found out that her parents bequeathed an entire private clinic to her, which she could run as soon as she finished her studies. She was stunned. But then the twins demanded that she leave the house, claiming that she had no business being there anymore. They practically threw her out on the street and prohibited her from even showing her face to them again. She now had to study and earn a living, so she took a job at a call center. There she worked at night while studying during the day. It was hard, but Maria Luisa graduated with flying colors, and it was not long before she had established an excellent reputation as a neurosurgeon. She transformed the clinic she had inherited into a hospital for the needy, just as she had planned. Although she had a first-class reputation and treated many wealthy people, she never forgot the humble people who often could not afford a doctor. By chance, after a few years, she met her childhood sweetheart Anselmo again, and the two realized that they were still attracted to each other. They became a couple again and finally got married. They planned to settle down, and the only thing they lacked for their perfect happiness was a family of their own. They searched classified ads for a property suitable for a family. By chance, Maria Luisa read that Villa Ruiz, her former home, was being sold. She was stunned. What had happened? She immediately contacted the real estate agent and scheduled an appointment to view the property. At this appointment, the couple learned that the twins had completely squandered their parents' inheritance, were unemployed and addicted to gambling, and now had to sell their parents' home as well. Maria Luisa really wanted to buy the house and live there with Anselmo. So they settled the business and bought Villa Ruiz the same day. Maria Luisa was very relieved and wanted to move in the following week. On the day they moved in, the doorbell rang suddenly. The twins were at the door, but this time not even slightly as arrogant and vicious as before. They literally begged Maria Luisa to let them continue to live in the villa and not to throw them out. After all, it was their parents' house. Maria Luisa initially wanted to kick them out on the street, but she realized they could work for her. One could become her janitor, the other her gardener. That way, everyone would be helpful, provided that the twins behaved themselves. However, she was willing to give them a chance and let them work for her. In return, they were allowed to live rent-free on the premises and received free food every day. After all the years of humiliation and wickedness she had suffered at the hands of the twins, she still could not reject her torturers at the door and treated them with sublime kindness. She and Anselmo truly had good hearts and their kindness brought them closer to Maria Luisa's parents than their biological children. 
This story shows us that we should always treat other people with respect simply because we never know when the tide might turn. Would you have done the same for the twins and let them continue to live in their home? Or would you have kicked them out? Which would probably have been the treatment they truly deserved. Feel free to leave us your comments below.